All right, you guys have seen the title. You guys know what this video is. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to install shaders. I'm going to give you at least two methods here, just in case one of them doesn't work. First, we're going to start off with the Modrinth method. So if you go into your browser and go to modrinth.com, when you get up on here, you can see up right here in the top, get Modrinth app. I'll link it down below. It's modrinth.com slash app, and you can just straight up download Modrinth. Modrinth is what I use for all my mods. This is a modded YouTube channel if you're new here. It's an open source free way to just find mods and install them easily. And this is, in my opinion, the easiest way. So if you download the app and install the installer, you get Modrinth. Now, I have a bunch of mod packs on here. You won't have these because all I do is mods all day long. But once you get to Modrinth and you just want to play with shaders, there are actually some pre-made ones here, like Fabulously Optimized is one that, that comes with shaders, but let's just do the basics here. You can open up the Discovery tab, go to Mods, and search... Actually, it will usually be right up at the top, but in case if it's not, search Iris. Iris is basically the new way to get shaders. It's kind of like Optifine back in the day. It's the way to get shaders. So you press add to instance. And uh, I have a bunch of instances, but we're going to create a new one. And then you can name it whatever you want. We'll name it shaders. Woo. And then create. Now this by default will give you the newest version, which is 1.21.10. But I should show you in case you want it a different way. If you have the mod page open, you can go like if you open up Iris and you go to versions. Yeah. So if you go to versions on Iris, you can actually go down and see all the different versions they have it for going down to 1.16.5. But now that you have it installed, it actually automatically installs the, the other mod you're going to need, which is sodium because sodium is just helps with your FPS and it works with Iris to add shaders. Now, this is easy because if you launch it, it'll work. But right within Modern, they actually have a shaders tab right up here. If you go to the shaders tab here, there's just all of the most popular shader packs right here. And it's just as simple as click to install. So my favorite, if you're just looking for aesthetics and performance is I love complimentary shaders reimagined. BSL is very nice. Um, but if you don't have great performance, there are some, some other ones like makeup ultra fast and a few of these that focus on FPS and quality. And you know what? I'm recording this on Halloween, so I'm going to get the spooky one. And then if you go back to your mod pack here, you can see you have the shaders installed and you can just press play. And boom, we're in Minecraft. So now that we're in Minecraft, you can go to options, video settings, and then right up here in the top is shaders. Now, the video settings are going to look different because it has sodium installed. I promise you sodium is one of the best mods you can have installed. It gives you more options. I like to turn off VSync and up my frame rate and do stuff like that. But that's irrelevant. What you care about is right here, shader packs. So here are all the shader packs we installed. Let's just apply BSL. This one I think is gorgeous. I mean, look at it was simple as that and our Minecraft looks delicious right now. So a lot of these shader packs are fully configurable. You can go to shader pack settings like BSL here has different profiles. So let's just say you have a bad computer. You could set it to low so it's less intensive on your computer and still looks very cool. Now I'm gonna show option two in case Modrinth isn't working for you or whatever millions of reasons that things can go wrong on computers. All right, it's time for option two. What you're gonna do is go straight to the Iris Shaders website, which is irisshaders.dev slash download. The link will be in the description, of course. And uh, you could, there's a few alternative downloads, uh, but what I recommend here is using the universal jar. So what you'll do is you'll download the universal jar and you'll just run it. Now you have to have Java installed on your computer, uh, but if you're playing Minecraft, you probably have Java already. But now that you've launched the dot jar, it is simple as, it's as simple as choose what version you wanna play on. So let's choose a different one. Let's do something more niche like 1.19.3, you can choose just Iris or Iris and Fabric. If you do Iris and Fabric, that opens the door for you to add Fabric mods. And then you can just choose it to install your dot .minecraft. Kind of goes without saying, but you need to own Minecraft to be able to install shaders and have Minecraft installed on your computer. So there we go, complete. So you can just close out of that. You can close out of the launcher. And this one you'll launch directly from the good old Minecraft launcher. But you get into the Minecraft launcher, You'll see in your versions here, um, I've done it a few times, but in your instances right here, you should have fabric loader and then the version number that you wanted, and then you can launch it. But before we do that, since we are doing this manual style, you're gonna have to do the good old fashioned, open your search bar, type in percent app data percent and enter and go to your dot Minecraft. And then in your dot Minecraft, you will have 
a shader packs folder. And if you don't have one, make one or just launch a shaders without any packs installed and this folder will be created. But you can see this folder is empty. So you'll have to go and find some shaders like Minecraft shader packs. A lot of them, funny enough, are located on Modrinth and CurseForge, but there's also some like complementary shaders, which is a very good one I installed earlier on Modrinth. You can just go and manually download. Yeah, I'll do complementary unbound. It honestly just brings you to Modrinth, but you can, uh, Modrinth also has a website, so you don't need to download it if you don't want to install the app. You can just skip that and be like, okay, I want 1.19.3. Uh, iris download. So we have the zip right here on my desktop and you just drag it straight into your shader packs folder. Now, when you go to launch, so now we have launched our Minecraft. Here we are. Options, video settings, shader packs, complimentary unbound. Okay. It made me tab out, but there we go. Complimentary unbound is installed. So that's a way to get around having to install the Modern app if it's not working for you. Down in the description, I will try to link a bunch of independent downloads for different shader packs in case Modrinth and whatnot isn't working for you. But to be honest, most of them are hosted. Oh, I pressed the reload shaders button. That's how you install shaders. If this video was helpful to you, I would appreciate a subscribe or just a like and a comment and maybe check out my modded videos I make here on this channel. Peace.